So I've been saying I'd make this video for a while. So here I am making the video. It's really not a complicated, hard, difficult process, but a lot of you out there still don't have this quite figured out. So that's why I'm here today and I'm going to make this video. So we basically did an excavation job the same way as we do every other kind of job. So today I'm gonna break that down for you real quick, throw on some footage of the machines and the guys actually doing the work. And I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get right into it. All right, so to even get to this point, first of all, you gotta build that relationship. You gotta find that builder, find that developer, find that other excavation company that wants to sub it to you. So once you've done that, you're gonna come in your office with your and your brother's name on the door and your little sign on the wall from CMP Attachments that they made a few for free because you built that relationship. <laughs> so thanks, Andrew and Derek, for that one. You're gonna pull up Jobber on your brother's uh, iPad because yours is dead with your patriotical case. And uh, I'll show you here what, what so we got. So let me now. just note too guys with baiting in general, if you ever want some, a little bit of green grass, a couple flags and a flagpole blown in the wind, a new truck that's snatched up by a deer, you can't be you know throwing numbers at the wall and hoping they stick or taking a, a rough guess. Like you gotta take a very educated guess, you gotta know in order to actually make money. We never really made any money until we figured out our overhead. And this price has our overhead included in that, but you need to figure out your overhead because what you pay for your vehicle, what you pay for your flagpole and your sod, what you pay for your building or where or to rent a space is all different. It's not all the same. It's not in the copy and paste. So what you pay for your what you pay for your insurance. So you got to figure out your overhead for your company. We have ours figured out for our company very well. We have for the last few years. We never made any money until then. But before you do any bidding, you need to figure out your overhead and what your machine is costing you, what your insurance is costing you, what your labor is costing you, not what you're paying the guy, but how much the labor is actually costing you. Your, how much your CPA is costing, all the above. So you gotta figure all that out before you can even begin to do a bid like this. Just wanted to clear that up. Then to type up your bid, you're gonna go to your iPad here with your 770 and your boulder wall on the backdrop. So here we have the quote. The quote, this is a very straightforward uh, slab on grade excavation and backfill. And in here in Minnesota, we do four foot footings. And all this material is marked up about um, 15 to 30%. So in this quote, we have 53 tons of uh, crushed rock for the radon. And we have uh, misc material line item, it should be pipe, but we have schedule 40 delivered. Um, we have this measured out. We don't put the exact measurement in here, but we have it measured out. No, we have it measured out so we know how much we're going to need. And then we have um, excavating lump sum labor, uh, non taxable. And we have uh, scope of work, excavate per plant attached, and solid radon rocks roughly four inches average depth and backfill using fill on site. Salt sewer water hookups does not include erosion control or permits, does not include bringing in or hauling away any fill, and labor at 66.95. So here's how we come up with that number. The slab on grade excavation and backfill, it's come up to about 12 grand. And how we, there's a lot of variables in this. If you guys are slow, if they take long lunch breaks, they show up late and leave early. Your labor, you're not gonna make money in this job. I'm just being real with you. This mark, this job, pretty tight margin, about 20, 25% for us. But since there's a whole bunch of them and they're close, uh, we're able to do it for that. How we came up with this number is we have uh, basically totaled out to one guy digging it a couple hours and then two days to do the hookups and the backfields. These ones are pretty deep. These sewers are like 12 feet deep in sand. So that's deep. You had, you had to dig a pretty big hole for that. So that's just about seven grand or 6,700 in labor. That's basically three guys, two days. So our labor rate is about 3,300, 3,350 per day. Um, that's with labor overhead and profit and then plus you make a little bit on the material so like i said guys this margin is pretty tight but that's where we're at with this and i don't want you to take these numbers and punch them into your system and send them because in your area you might be paying double or triple like i know for instance out in out west they pay more than four times as much as we do for radon rock and some of your pipe material and some places it's way cheaper like down south might be way cheaper for whatever reason might be way more so i don't don't take these numbers and just punch into your system and do the same because it's not exactly the same unless you're in our exact area and use the same suppliers and have bought the same equipment and pay your guys the same and have the same insurance that's the only way that it's going to be the same for you so you're going to want to make sure that you have all these numbers figured out don't take an educated guess uh do it you figure out your numbers on what it's going to cost you to do the job as every single bid is exactly the same you have your labor material, overhead, and profit. There's four items on every bid. 
And usually we put that overhead just in our labor because you, you don't want to put an overhead line item in your quote. Four components to every job and every single job is exactly the same. We don't do any hourly work. So someone says, how do you bid a job? I say, well, there's four components to bidding it, labor, material, overhead, and profit. So I use those same things for exactly what's gonna cost us overall and then add 30% on top of that. So we usually shoot for on average a 30% margin. Basically just breaking it down the same as we do every other job, material, labor, overhead, and profit. And then for time-wise, to figure out over time, you really only way to know is how efficient your crew is and to do, you gotta do a few to get to know how long these take. Because if you've never done one, you probably don't know. So on average, for a small twin home like this, slab on grade, with everything, it's about two days worth of work. A few hours to dig it, it's pretty shallow, scrape off the black dirt, dig the four foot footings, and then backfilling, compacting the inside, compacting the garages, doing the hookups, depending on how deep the hookups, depending on how far they are, or if it's a septic and a well, it's gonna be different. So doing those utilities is gonna vary a lot. And then also uh, getting the permits, I'm telling you how difficult the city is to work with by getting the permits and inspections. Thankfully the city we're working in is pretty easy. That's where we're at with this guys. I hope this video helped you out. If you got any questions, feel free to reach out. I will put a link. <laughs> I don't want to sound like one of those YouTubers. I got this link for XYZ and say 7.7%. I don't want to be one of those guys, but uh, I do have a link to Jobber if you don't have a, a software that you can want to build, invoice, uh, do basically everything with. The link that below that you can get a free trial. And then if you use our link, we'll get a couple bucks back. I think we make them like two grand and then they give us two cents or it's something like that. So, um, and then also I'll, I'll see if I can find a link. Uh, we do sell our quote, like our, our template for our snow contracts. Uh, our employee handbook, everything, everything that we've spent an insane amount of time and money on over the last five years developing, I feel it's good. So you can take that, put your put your uh, letterhead on it, and make it yours if you're just starting out, or if you've been in business a while and you have a crappy one and you haven't spent a bunch of time and money developing a good one. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today in this video. I hope this helped uh, you out a bunch. And remember, it is what you make it to be. We'll see you soon.